I recently had a request to talk about uh, how to integrate Google Classroom with SysK12. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. Folks, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't spend all day every day inside of Cisco 12 but that doesn't mean this is not an important topic. So I reached out to a friend, uh, Scott Wools is a teacher for us in, at our North High School, and he put together a walkthrough of syncing Google Classroom with Cisco 12 so that you get your grades syncing back and forth between the two. So I'm going to hand it over to Scott. He's going to show us how to, how to do this. So here we are inside of Sys. And if we want to link our sys to a Google Classroom, here's the steps that we need to take. Uh, first of all, I'm going to come down to the grading due column, and I'm going to find the particular class I want to link, and I'm going to hit the check mark, and I'm going to go into my grade book. So once the grade book uh, spools up, down here you can see I've got a classroom button. And if I click the classroom button, you can see I have a choice to either create a new class or in this case, link to an existing class. I already have an existing class, so I'm going to choose to link to an existing class. And when I click on that, it's going to pull up all of my uh, Google Classrooms, and I'll just choose this class, because that's the class it wants to go to. And immediately, I get this little uh, classroom information pop-up. And... The reason that I get this is, is outside of the uh, section dates or it has no due date. In my case, it has no due date. I was using it for third quarter. Uh, there's, there's no due dates that were in there, but I have some assignments that are in there that do have due date. So if you have assignments without due dates, this is going to be a pop-up that you're going to see. You can go in retroactively and put those due dates in, but in my case, it's outside of the range of what I'm working with anyway. So I'll hit close. And then here are the assignments that it says it can bring in. I do have a couple of options. I can uh, sync the roster before the import. I can also import assignments with zero possible points. Uh, I'm going to leave both of those blank for now. What I want to do is I want to import all of these assignments, these four assignments here. So I'll check assignment uh, just to get all of the assignments there and I will click import. So when I go and try and import it, it's going to ask me what type of assignment it is. And you can see if I come to category, I get all the same types of assignments that I would normally have. These are all classwork, so I'll just choose classwork. But instead of going through one by one, since they're all going to be classwork, I can come over here to this set all button and set them all to classwork. Hit the check mark and then I can hit import. Okay, there are my four assignments. I'll click close. It tells me that they're, they've all been brought in. I can click close here. And if I scroll down to the end, I can see that one, two, three, four, there are the four assignments that were brought in and there are the scores that have been brought in. Now there's some things that you have to know about this. First of all, if I try to bring in an assignment that has not been returned to the student, it will not bring in a grade. If I try and bring in an assignment without a due date, it will not even bring that assignment in. But let's see what it looks like when I create a new assignment and then bring it in. So if I come over here to my Google Classroom and I'm going to create a new assignment. So I'll just click Create, and I'll click Assignment, and I'll type in, uh, this is a test assignment. I'll give it 10 points just for fun, and uh, we'll give it a due date of, I don't know, the 18th. All right, and then I'll hit Assign. So there's my test assignment right there. If I go back to Sys, and I go back to my classroom, remember, I'm going to get this error because there are assignments there that it will not import into Sys, and it's letting me know that. I'll just hit Close. You can see there is that test assignment right there. So I'm going to hit the check mark and I'm going to bring that in. So if I hit import, once again, what kind of category, what kind of assignment is it? 
I'll just call it classwork, and I'll hit import. So it tells me that it's there. I'll close it out. And if I scroll to the end, I can find there's my test assignment right there. Now here's where it gets a little fun. So let's say that I go to this billboard pick right here and uh, I need to update that grade, right? Maybe it was 96 and he's done some things to, to update it or change it or whatever. I can make that a 97. Also, I have this uh, 10 point assignment that I want to put a grade in as well. So if I go back to classroom and I'll go back to that billboard pick. So I open that up. You can see there's that 96, but really maybe I think uh, after a review or maybe he's turned some things in, I'll make that a 98. Okay, so I'll click away. It says draft down here inside of Google Classroom. So I have to make sure that I hit return. It tells me they'll be notified and that's fine. So I'll hit return. And when I go back to, to Sys, if I try and update that, so that's this assignment right here, the, the 96. If I choose that, I close this, I say billboard pick and I hit import. And I hit close. I close this out, but I scroll back down here to the end. You can see there's that billboard pick right there. And there is the updated score. Sometimes it does take a second. So I wouldn't do it like immediately. I give it like a minute to, you know, sort of think and refresh and that sort of thing, but that's the way it'll work. All right. So after having the student quote unquote, complete the test assignment, if I go back to the classwork tab, on, on the teacher side, I'll go in, I'll find the turned in assignment. I'll give him a score of 10 out of 10. And it, once again, that return is so important. If I come back here to SIS and I try and bring in those assignments, uh, right there, that test assignment and hit import, it'll tell me nothing's been updated because I have not returned that to the student. You can see that score is still blank. But if I go back here, I have the assignment turned in, I've given it a grade and I hit return. Now when I pop back into SIS, I'll go to the classroom. I'll close that out. I'll find this test assignment. Matter of fact, I'll just import them all. Why not? It won't make a difference because all the scores have stayed the same, except for this empty one for the test assignment. And I'll click import. it tells me that only one assignment has been updated. And I used to freak out over here because the score still remained blank. But once I hit close, and once I close this, it'll refresh the page. And if I go down to the end, you can see there is that test score. All right, thanks Scott, we really appreciate that. I do wanna point out, Scott has his own YouTube page. Uh, he's got a channel where he is a man on a plan. He talks about teacher-focused things uh, that are around technology and really covers a lot of great topics. So I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the show notes. Feel free to take a look at that as well as everything else that I've got on my channel. You guys have a great one.